were talking about the soursop leaves for cancer treatment. Yeah, he said it's nothing as good as the paradise tree. Paradise tree, really? You know what else? Huh. Does that, that make a fruit? He said the Java plum hey, leaves are good for radiation. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I that think. The bale fruit. There's two ways. I always say God put everything here we need. We just gotta figure it out. You know. She's going to yeah, you gotta, job, you gotta recognize what it is. This is That's my type of medicine Doc cabinet. Nam Doc Mai? That was um, all over the ground here? There's two trees here. Oh, I see the mangoes littered Some down. Big, you know, I heard that you could pick fruit off the there. ground here. That's, <laughs> That's, That's rumor on the street, huh? Actually, yeah, there. You can find one that's not past the time. Or if it's soft enough, you can cut the end off. What's ripening in here? That one looks good. No, next one in, no? Uh, Nam Doc Mai is a pretty good mango. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm willing to share. You willing to share? Well, with the animals. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. This is a rat or a squirrel. Can you tell by the tooth marks? No. <laughs> Alright, let me see. I just That one might be good right there on the ground, the green one. Well that one looks like it was chewed on like an apple. Let me see this thing. Whoa. Alright, so that's what happens when uh That's what my teeth mark looks like. <laughs> yeah, squirrels or rats get a hold of the fruit. Oh, there's a carambola here covered in fruit. Actually, some semi almost ripe ones up in here. <laughs> little star fruit, huh? So, do you guys sell any of the fruit or you just use it for tastings? Use it for tastings and people eat. Wow. So, did I give you my knife? Yes. Oh, in my hand. Don't cut yourself. You getting ready to do a mango here? I don't know. I don't whoa, know if whoa. I picked a good one. That's for Owen. Is it a star, a star fruit? fruit? Yeah. Yeah, you found one. Good job, dude. Wait, can I see? I think we would probably wait until... Star fruit. Does that one have a day? Yeah. yeah. This one we can try it now. You want to put that in? Yeah, see this one? It's uh, it's just a little bit soft on the top and got a little smell? give to it. Mango-y. Smells mango <laughs> yeah. Smells ripe. Okay, okay. Not great at description. It's okay. <laughs> Can't wait, guys. This is a spiral ginger with the yellow flower here. Now we grow a lot of spirals that have edible flowers. Are those edible? Yeah. They are. Yep. They're, They're sweet. basically ornamental parts of the flowers are edible. Look at little lizard. Yeah. But there's only a couple types of ginger that they actually use the root. Yeah. Do you see that leaf growing there? Yes. That is gak. That's gak fruit? Yes. Kind. Vietnam? Wow. Oh, so. We have that in Thailand. Be careful if you plant it. Dak. The invasive. Oh, yeah. So, I have a feeling they're trying to get rid of this one. You need a male and a female. Rose one, we worked outside together. We were hand pollinating. Kind of has the tendrils like the passion fruit does, but a much different leaf. So, gak fruit. Here it is again. Did you already take skin off? Ooh. No. I, I, I can only do so much with. You better slice it down the center then, make a peach slice. You must have been a Girl Scout. Look at her, she's taking the high oxalics off. Wow. Cuts away from her. I, I, I work with scalpels, I, I, I do surgery. I'm a vet. So. <laughs> I learned, you learn the hard way in vet school. You want some, Gavin? You said you want some star fruit? Wait, wait, wait. Little brown Cut piece. that little brown end up there, yep. just a little bit there. Gavin's not picky. He doesn't mind a little, little bugs in there and a little rot. What do you think? Is it good? Pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. let's hop on. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's time. Beautiful. This is Emblica, or Indian oh. gooseberry. These two trees, you see the fruit on the ground there? Those round green? If you eat one of those, whether or not they're ripe, they're very sour. But after you eat that fruit, if you drink water, the water is sweet. Wow. Ask anybody from India. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh, those, wow. Are those long ends or leafies or something? Where? Where, Gavin? Over there. Oh. Wax jambu. Wax jambu. Lychee right over here. There. Now, some of the wax jambu on the tree might not have worms. Once they hit the ground, pretty much forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're pretty much completely littered in fruit over here. These wax jambus are uh, overachievers, heavy producers. Look at this thing. What are they? Oh, yeah. Wax jambu. <laughs> so here we go. 
Okay. It's probably not too sweet, so no, don't make it look too bad now. It's really not bad. Not too bad? Is it refreshing? No, there's no sour or anything in it, but cool. it's really good. Look at all those. Wow, things. look at the flowers on this thing. Yeah, I see a red red one. We probably need to get moving here. We are in limited time here at the Fruit and Spice Park. But the, uh, the whole ground is just littered in these wax bamboo. I mean, oh my gosh. These are uh, farm problems. Whoa, beautiful fruit. Actually, this is a giant jujube. The one over here is a normal size one. You know wow. the jujube candy you get at the movies? Yes. Okay, I used to say it has nothing to do with this fruit, but apparently it used to. Really? Hmm. That's the interesting. The juice of a jujube it's a cough suppressant, and they used to make candy out of it to keep people from coughing at the movies. <laughs> it's all sugar now. Wow. But apparently there's more vitamin C in a jujube fruit than there is in an orange. Wow. So that's pretty like interesting. Kind of like, wow. This is a dwarf sapodilla. Yep. If you don't have a huge yard to accommodate, you know how big sapodillas get. Oh, yeah. You can plant a dwarf and... Extremely small, salt and wind tolerant tree. So sapodilla. It's like a. Uh, they're not actually. They're just smaller. Pear soaked in brown sugar makes a beautiful form tree. And this is a dwarf. This is the mountain persimmon. Mountain persimmon. Wow. See the I see some fruits on it. Yeah. You see, Daddy. This makes really good rootstock. See how sturdy that tree is. But the fruit tastes awful. You just never get the happiest tree. Grab those mangoes. Grab those mangoes. How'd they get there? There's not even a mango above it. We hey, we don't ask these kind of questions. Hey. You're welcome to eat what's on the ground. As long as eat what's on the ground. You can put them in the back, underneath the seat, on the back. So you said mountain persimmon? Yeah. You could see an orange one up in there. I found the unripe apple. Makes a great root stock for a regular persimmon. I guess it's a little more hardy, stronger. You can see underneath this thing. It's pretty serious. And there's the little green fruits. The yellow ones, when you, you can taste it, it will taste like you sprayed Lysol in your mouth. Woo! You're welcome to try it. You want a Lysol mouth, Matt? That was the root stock for the other one you were Yes. When I first started here, everybody said, don't eat that fruit, it's awful. I thought, how bad could it be? Well, oh, good. I'm fine at all. I know, I passed this back to you because I didn't know what you understood, but that's when I got off the ground. Can you hold it on? Oh, yeah. There's a nice thing. mini jackfruit. That's a cassia cinnamon, not the true cinnamon tree. Cassia cinnamon, okay. Instead of the Ceylon, wow. PG Long Van here. Nice. Nice. Another um, jackfruit. This is. Anybody know? Is no. that the true cinnamon? Yeah. Yeah. Remembered. Ceylon cinnamon, okay. Yeah. Does it smell like cinnamon? Yeah, when you pull it off the leaf, it's like right where it connects to the branch, it has that strong smell. Really? Yeah. We have this growing no, at the farm. I missed it. I don't even know what it is. That's Ceylon cinnamon. We have it growing, babe. Chew this from here to here. Okay, oh, I've never chewed leaf. it. You can have it after me. Pete. She just taught us something new. I can't wait to make people do that. Yeah. Wow. Got a new experience Serious? instead of just sniffing. Serious. No more scratch and sniff. Um, now it's, like it's chewed. It tastes like a red hot. Really? Yep. Okay. Not that I've ever eaten that unhealthy candy, but just. Oh, Julie, you're busted. <laughs> Comparing to a red hot. Take all the leaves off the tree. Just take a little tiny bite. Of cinnamon. You said it tastes just like the big stem. red gum, right? It's two on the stem. Yeah, I've never done that before. It's like big red. It's like one of those cinnamon toothpicks. It is like. Here's big the red. bottom piece I did not. I think I was here ten years before on. I found that out. It's like you lick the wrapper it's of a big awesome, red It's awesome, isn't gum. it? Somebody yeah, who needs gum when you have cinnamon trees, huh? Mm. And they said, oh, when we were kids, we used to chew the stem. It tastes like cinnamon. And we're like, really? Whoa. We didn't know that. Isn't that neat? It like it's what? really good. Yeah. Mm. It's a strong flavor. It's I like that. Cinnamon, like I'm going to move. Is everybody That's holding on? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Welcome to Jurassic Land. All right, we're going into rare zone. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this has grown since the five minutes. Miniature water lilies. Uh, now most all of these flowers you're going to see in here are ginger. Beautiful. They're basically ornamental parts of the flowers are edible. I told um, you, this was your... Look at this giant breadfruit. Look at this. And there's actually fruit on it. I see that. Is this the first That's year? The vanilla orchid going up that breadfruit tree there. Oh. Is that jackfruit and any beans? Giant breadfruit. So are these really cold sensitive gingers then? 
I don't know that they're. Uh, we got a, a longevity spinach understory. We got that longevity spinach. Here's the breadfruit. This is one they're doing a lot of work with right now. Here's the fruits. Quite a beautiful tree. Makes a gorgeous leaf on it. Is this bay rum? Lemon. Lemon bay rum. Lemon allspice. Lemon allspice, wow. Here's the regular allspice. A little scratch and sniff for you. Breadfruit, beautiful tree. Jackfruit. Beautiful flowers. All right, so I'm growing 50 varieties of bananas on Sand Hill Farm. I've given up on varieties, but I have to say, I do want this banana. This is the I.I. It's a variegated banana. The bananas are delicious. It's pretty slow growing. It's not a very productive banana, like many other bananas, but it's uh, definitely a showpiece. I mean, look at this. Camouflage. Woo! Beautiful. No bananas hanging. A couple of pups in the ground. There's a Rambo tan, not doing good. Rambo tan, not doing good. More lemongrass. Maybe Milonga, longevity spinach. Y'all have to see this flower. 